Hello everybody and welcome to Ark Survivor Evolved. This is a game I've really been looking forward to record um, as it continues to get more optimized. I've finally been able to, I believe, record it successfully. This is a really fun game in my opinion. This game takes place in prehistoric times where you start off with basically there's dinosaurs, there's you have nothing to start with. Um, and then you're going to survive, so we're going to need water, food, shelter. Um, we're also going to need to fend off dinosaurs. And we can train dinosaurs and make them our friends and pets. And we can use them to help us with all sorts of stuff. So we're going to go ahead and jump in the game. I skipped the initial load screen just because this game takes so long to load. It is a really good game, but it is just a beast to play. So we're going to go ahead and make our character. Right now there's only two default characters, a male and a female. Um, I think we're going to be female because this guy just looks so roided out and crazy that I think we're just going to be a female character. Um, I, you know what, I'm, we never really see ourselves so I don't think I'm really going to mess with these options very much. I'm just going to leave them as is. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and select South Zone 2 as our spawn and survivor name. I don't like Annie. We could be, let's see, Rita. No. You know what? Let's be Stacy. Oops. Let's be Stacy. Okay. My keyboard doesn't feel like typing right now. All right. So we'll be Stacy. Looks like a Stacy. All right. We'll go ahead and create new survivor. All right, so right now there's not really any story in this game. We just wake up on a beach. And we have this random thing in our arm. I'm actually going to go in and just the sound just a little bit. Actually, it should be okay. I don't want the music too loud. All right, so we've started off. Right here on the beach, we can hit the M key and bring up a map. Oh, and it keeps push pins from where I have previously played the game, I see. So I've already played this game for a fair amount of time, and I have a few caves marked and an underwater cave, and okay. So the me is the push pin that is moving. And we're going to go ahead and start gathering resources and make our way along the beach so that we can Okay All right So as we walk along here, I'm going to use the E key to start gathering while we walk because as I said We have nothing right now. We're going to need a lot of resources so we're going to go ahead and get some fiber and some berries to eat while we're walking. I could also just stand here and I could keep spamming E until the bush is gone. We're going to need a little bit of wood, so we're going to have to punch it right now. That has got to hurt, but we need it to get some tools. You can see the little red paint icon coming up. All right, let's go ahead and open our inventory. And in order to craft the stone pickaxe, we're going to need some wood. So this game is nice. You can pretty much gather almost every resource you see. So we're going to keep punching some trees here because I've found that that's the best way to gather wood in my real life. So we're going to come over here now. We're going to go ahead and craft this. And now we'll have a stone pickaxe. All right, so we're going to go ahead and equip that in our slot. And now we can start gathering some more resources. We're going to need to learn how to make an axe so that we can gather wood more effectively. Right now, if you use the pickaxe, you will get some wood, but you'll predominantly get thatch. We're going to go ahead and harvest this stone here, get a little bit of flint. All right. Keep pounding away at that. Okay. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pull out our map here. All 
Okay. It doesn't look like we can cross right there near those rocks. And I do not want to cross at a deep spot of the water because I'm afraid of megalodons. Oh, looks like we've got some turtles and stuff over there. We're going to want to avoid most of the creatures to start with here. Just until we get a little base set up and we have some way to defend ourselves better than a pickaxe. Oh, and so there's our first dinosaur up close for the people who haven't played this game. It's a giant turtle. Luckily he's not aggressive. Unless of course you attack him. So I'm holding the shift key in order to run here. Um, it does use up over on the right. You'll notice at the top you have where you're about to level up. Then you have your weight. Then you have your water. Then you have your food. Then you have your stamina and your health. And by using the run key to get ourselves moving a little faster, it uses our resources a lot quicker. Oh, and it looks like we've got a big old brontosaurus over there. We're going to want to give him a wide berth. I also believe I see some some dilos over there. They will attack us, those little guys. We want to be careful. There's a parasaur, which will be the first first uh, animal that we'll be able to ride. Here's some dodos. I'm going to go ahead and try and kill him so we can get some meat. Go ahead and get a little bit of hide and meat because we're going to need that. Alright, so we're going to continue around this way. And we're going to make our way over to a nice little spot and set up camp. I'm going to sneak through the... Oh, no I'm not. Got to be careful. Don't want to run into any sharks. There's also uh, piranhas that will try and take a bite out of our flesh. Gonna check the map again. All right. So I'm just going to a spot that I've played before, and I just randomly I'm familiar with the area, so we'll just go ahead and set up there. Um, that way I have a little bit of better bearing on where to gather resources and stuff so we don't have to spend a lot of time just wandering around. I have a rough idea where metal is and uh, the wood and fibers and berries and different types of animals and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and just head over there and then we will uh, start setting up our, our camp. All right, so we want to come out here along the shore. All right. I also know where there are some caves and stuff like that, so that we'll be able to do that once we've reached a proper level. As you can see, we've got some more dinosaurs over there. Oh, I see it looks like a sarco in the distance. Giant alligator. Oh, and there's a brontosaurus. Oh, and we'll give the dilo a little bit of a berth here. Okay, well, right about where that sarco is is where I was hoping to set up uh, our base, but we definitely uh, can't take him on right now. So we're going to have to figure something out. We've also got a brontosaurus over there. So we may just sit up over here on this side of the river. Can always build a bridge across in later episodes. Okay, that was a weird little... Oh, he's knocking down trees as he's walking. Maybe we can get him and the Sarko to fight. How cool would that be? Well, let's, let's go ahead and head over there. This might be a bad idea, but we will see. I 
those brontosauruses are just so big that they kind of get stuck in the map sometimes. Oh, I think I just defecated. Yes, you do defecate in this game. Oh, and we got a level. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit inventory. Um, right away, I'm going to start with some health. And now we have the ability to unlock engrams. And what these do is, is this lets us build additional items. So we are definitely going to need the hatchet to get started with. And then I would like the spear, but I also want a campfire. Well, you know what? Let's go for protection first. So we're going to get those. Now we're going to go over here to our craftables. We're going to go ahead and make a hatchet. And then in order to make this, we're going to need some additional wood. But now that we have a hatchet, it shouldn't be that bit of a problem. Okay. So now we'll start gathering some resources while we keep an eye on our Sarko friend over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start gathering some wood so that we can make a spear and so that we can start working on making basically our shelter. So I'm going to start clearing out this area because we're right here. I'm not quite sure where we're going to build yet. That Sarko does worry me. Um, although it looks like he might be moving a little down the beach. I really don't want to take him on right now because I do not think we would win. So let's go back into here and now we have enough to go ahead and craft ourselves the spear. And we'll probably go ahead and create a torch too for when it gets dark so that we have the ability to see. We'll go back over here to our inventory. I'm just going to drag these down to the hotkeys so that I can press the corresponding number and quickly get them out. I don't have to think about it. All right, now we've got a basic spear, we've got our pick, we've got an axe, and we've got a torch for when it gets dark. All right. So now what we need to do is basically just spend a whole bunch of time gathering resources. Most likely what I'll do is I will off camera gather resources and then we can build on camera because I doubt anyone wants to watch me uh, just sit here and collect wood for a half an hour. I could be mistaken, so let me know in the comments if you want me to do the whole thing or if I should be farming off camera and just try and do the fun stuff on camera. For this first episode, though, starting out, just kind of showing everyone what they need to do in order to survive the first couple days and get started. So we're just going to go ahead and keep gathering some wood here. Probably going to need a little bit of thatch, too, so I'm going to switch to my pick. And now I start getting more thatch than wood <clears throat> when we hit the trees and harvest their resources. So we're just going to keep going along here. And as you can see on the right, that little up arrow is gathering. We are getting resources, or resources. We are getting XP while we do this. Oh, some of our berries are starting to spoil. So what we can do is we can go in here and if we have any left, we can go ahead and use these items. Give us a little bit of water back and also a little bit of food till we can make up the meat. Oh, there's our Sarko friend. He's getting a little close. Oh, and I think he's coming after us now. Okay, so we're, we're gonna die. Okay, I am hoping... Yes! All right. I'm sorry I can't give you a better view of that because I am severely wounded right this second. But at least our plan worked. The Sarko and the Bronto are now taking each other on. The Bronto should win. And then that'll leave our beach free of the Sarko. And if not, well, then the big Bronto will be out of the way. Oh good, and he's dragging the Bronto away too, so whatever happens, we should be okay. I would have liked to gone and harvest the uh, crocodile, but I don't know if we want to... Oh, I'm assuming the Bronto won. Yeah, because we're moving so slowly and we're so hurt, I don't know if I want to.
I worry about accidentally hitting the Brontosaurus. If we accidentally hit him, he will kill us in one tail swing. So we're going to go ahead and let him get a little bit more out of the water here. All right. And now we're going to try and go harvest this crocodile so we can at least get the uh, hides and any extra meat from it. All right, look at that. We're getting some good hides, some raw meat. Those hides will definitely help us. Now if we can just try and stay alive. It's also getting dark. Those beam-like things you see right there, those are supply caches that fall from the sky. You have to be certain level in order to get certain different colors. <clears throat> okay, so we, the sun is obviously setting here. We're going to need to gather some berries, I believe, so we're going to need to put our tool away. Oh, I defecated again. I apologize for that. Uh, for those who are wondering why that is in the game, um, you can use the uh, all the dinosaur excrements, your own excrements and stuff, in order to make uh, fertilizer and composting so that you can uh, grow various plants. There are certain plants in this game that you can find the seeds, but you won't find the plants wild. So you have to go ahead and grow them in order to get them. So we're just going to go ahead and gather a few of these berries right here so we have something to eat because our food is very low. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. We're going to go ahead and use all this. I would like to be able to cook the meat, but we took the spear instead. So for anyone who's not familiar with the game, the reason I'm skipping these, these are narco berries. These will put you to sleep. And the white ones right here are stem berries and will wake you up. And we definitely don't want to fall asleep. Okay, so now we're going to need to keep gathering some more wood so we can get some basics built. Although we have a level up, so we're going to go ahead and take that so that we can make the campfire. So I'm going to go ahead and give us another health. And now we're going to go ahead and take this campfire. It leaves us with seven. We're going to need armor at some point but I want to be able to get a foundation down. So we're going to go ahead and take the foundation. Oh, I didn't, I forgot about the water skin. Well, we need the water skin too. That way we can hold water and start making. Okay, so we're going to need some stones. All right. So let's go down here and we want to go ahead and just get a basic little base set up. So I'm going to put this away. And I'm going to walk around. I'm going to gather what stones I can see on the ground before it gets too dark. Oh, actually, we have a hatchet. Or a hatchet. A torch. So now we can go around and we will collect some stones here. Oh, and we're overweight, which is why we're running so slow. So now I'm going to go back into my inventory real quick. And I'm going to say craft. Oh, and I'm going to go ahead and craft a foundation and then I'm gonna also go ahead and craft our fire I'm gonna take this foundation and drag it down to the hot slot also that and this is just gonna be temporary just to get us started so I'm gonna hit the hot key for six which brings up this little thing right here um, we're now gonna go back a little from the water and I'm just gonna place that down right there and now we have just the most basic foundation. And we're going to take this and we're going to go right over here to the corner. And we're going to set a fire down. And we're going to open up the fire and we need to eat. So we're going to take some meat. I'm going to hold shift so that I only put five wood in there. And actually I want to put, let's say, ten in there. One per meat. And we're going to go ahead and light it. All right. Now we have a little bit of heat, a little bit of warmth which are the same thing obviously. We can cook food and we have light. I meant to say heat and light. So we've now got that. We can now use that as a reference point and we can go out here a little farther and get some more resources. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna gather more thatch because right now we're building thatch foundations so that's what they're gonna require the most of. So 
<clears throat> we're just going to go ahead and gather some more of these resources. Get some more wood. Oh. Oh, I'm now starving. Okay, well, before we repair that, it looks like we need to go back and eat. Yes, just ignore me, dinosaurs. Nothing to see here. All right, we're going to hold E to access this. Oh, she's starting to starting to moan. Okay, I'm going to eat all three of those, and we'll see that our food starts getting refilled. Next, I'm going to go back into the inventory. We're going to look at craftables, and in order to make this, I need stone. All right, so we're going to have to grab a little bit of stone here. I see one or two on the ground. Okay, now I can just press the number one, and if I have the correct resources, it'll go ahead and build it. Okay, now we're going to pull it out, and we're going to grab some more thatch. And what we'll do is we'll probably end up moving the fire, and then we'll replace all the thatch foundations with wood foundations. Um, and as we go up the tiers and progress in the game right now we're just going to keep gathering some resources it's a little dark and hard to see so I don't want to get too far away so we'll just keep getting a few more things right here okay I can still see our fire oh and see you can actually see oh well you could that it was landing right over there and that looks like a multicolored one which means we can go get it but there is no way I am venturing out there at night so we are just not equipped to do that yet so we're just going to keep gathering some more resources and stay real close to our camp right now <clears throat> we do not want to get attacked by a raptor or a scorpion or anything dangerous right now if i had some more berries and it was light out i'd get this guy training during the night but you know what we could maybe try you know what though he's gonna take a while to train and I just I can't see well enough so we're gonna go ahead and hit six again nope and we don't we don't have sorry I gotta switch the key for that I'm so used to tab being fibers that's what we are short on okay so we're gonna run over here because I know there's some plants we're gonna go ahead and get some fiber hopefully and if we get some narco berries, then we can uh, train some us uh, or some animals, so we can start getting some pets, and we can also leave them here so they can defend the homestead. They can also defend and fight for us. That way, we'll feel a little safer. So we're just gonna go ahead and keep grabbing some of this stuff. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and make two more of these. Go ahead and put that down. Go ahead and put another one down. And then what else do we need to make one more? We need, of course, more fiber. So we will come back over this way. Oh, and we can actually take our torch out for this. So we will go ahead and get that out. Grab some bamboo here and see if we get some more fibers. Oh, we're getting some narco berries. That's good. Okay. I believe we have enough fiber. Yep. Okay, and we'll come back here. We'll place this one right there. All right, and now we've got a little four by four and we went ahead and leveled up. So we're gonna go ahead and go in here to the inventory. I'm gonna take a food. I wanna get that up so I don't have to eat as often. Now we're gonna take the water skin so that we can start carrying water with us. 
And I'd like to get a sleeping bag, but it's not available yet. So I think we're gonna go ahead and just hold off on that. I meant the permanent sleeping, not the uh, temporary one. There is a difference and I'll explain that more in the next episode. All right, so this is Ark Survival Evolved. It's a game I really enjoy. I hope everyone likes watching it and we will pick up in the next episode. Thanks for tuning in.